So we were actually here yesterday and I kept thinking to myself, this just screams a place that would have a geocache, but there's no cell service for me right in this location. So I couldn't look it up at the time. When we were at the hotel last night, I looked it up and sure enough, there is a cache here. So I did film a little bit yesterday of our little fruit snacking picnic we had, and I wanna include that as well, but I'm turning it into more of a geocaching vlog for my geocaching playlist. So you guys know what to do. Grab yourselves a tasty treat and a beverage of your choice to keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside this vlog at all times. I'm going to show you the picnic and then I'll come back and we'll go hunting for that cache. Good, beautiful afternoon, everyone. We're coming to you from somewhere in Jeff Davis County, Texas, just north of Fort Davis. And uh, we found a picnic area. We don't know what's up with it though. And I'll get to that in a minute. There's no signs or anything. We don't know if they're refurbing it or perhaps closing it soon, but makes for a cute little picnic grab. So we're gonna film it. You guys know what to do. Grab yourselves, tasty treat, and a beverage of your choice to keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside this vlog at all times. So we are sitting just south of the observatory. I forgot the name, McDonald? Yeah. McDonald Observatory. And this looks like at one time, this was quite the picnic area, but I'll get to the fruit and stuff before Fruit Bat comes and takes it all. We are having a little smorgasbord of berries and teas. We have blueberries, we have blackberries, we have raspberries. Mark is drinking a Texas tea here, some Brownsboro Blueberry Green Tea. I'm having the Fredericksburg Peach. So we're having a little tea and fruit break. Plus it's nice in the shade. I mean, out in the sun, you'd be really hot, but right here in the shade, it's nice enough to have Lucy sit out with us, get and some wiggles out. You, you, you do want to show everybody what you've been doing? Mm -hmm. I'm on act two. Oh, you're on act two, okay. What are we doing? Which way are we going first? The ramp? So there's another little platform right here. And actually, while Mark has Lucy, maybe I'll take you guys up to show you. Um, but but we, don't, we don't know. I mean, the picnic area has a name according to Google Maps. However, there's no sign. Doesn't look like there's, a, you know, there was an interp sign. Hi! I'm up here. You are? This is like your like fifth or sixth round of this. I'll take you guys up with me. Now that Mark has Lucy Girl. Save us some fruit, Daddy! Oh <laughs> Daddy says the fruit is all his. Hey, guys, mine. Yeah. Well, this is a nice, cute area. I have to laugh because there's like random outlets makes you wonder this is for sitting and charging your cell phone i don't have a plug right out I to test it you, Mama. i see you i'm coming up i'm I almost there but what nice views take a peekaboo back down at mark hold on sweetie Looking up at the observatory. Oh, Teddy's taking the steps down. That's how you ended up with a dirty bottom, huh? Uh -huh. Like the bottom, meet me on the bottom. I okay. The so, as you can see, what a lovely area. These nice benches. I mean, overall, there's a couple of spots of graffiti, but nothing really heavily graffiti. Uh, it's pretty clean, the trash. There's a trash receptacle down there that we used to throw uh, bottles away from the last teas we were drinking. Looks like the trash has changed frequently. So, not sure. Not sure if, you know, is it being refurbed? Was it damaged by storm, maybe? I'm gonna zoom in now and show you the observatory. I've zoomed into the 2.5. I'm gonna try to manually zoom a little bit more. And the observatory is like a place you can go actually visit. They have a lot of night sky programs, star programs and stuff. 
We do want to eventually get to it. That's not on today's agenda or this weekend's, but we do want to look into it, especially when Teddy's like maybe another, oh, sorry, I was kind of looking away, six months older or so. I want him a little bit older before we really try doing something like that, but we will eventually look into that. Now I'm back out to what I normally film a lot in, especially when I'm outside is the 0.5. So it gives you a wider angle, but, I mean, it is nice here right now because in the shade it's nice. A little slight breeze. We are getting ready to go into a massive heat warning here in our part pretty soon. I'll take you down the steps just for kicks and giggles. Starting tomorrow through until like Thursday, even in our area in Panther Junction in Big Bend where we live, we're talking possibly 110. So... Glad that we have a nice day for today's family day to get out and explore. But I'd better come have some of these berries, especially now that Fruit Bat's back here, huh? Fruit Bat will have his way with the berries. Look at that dirty butt. <laughs> Who got dirty butt? Not you, Lucy. Not you, girl. But yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out, like, looks like this at one time was possibly a really nifty interrupt sign with maybe even some kind of electronic light or button that was on it. Are you going to wonder because the sidewalk kind of did go to that fence, you know, but it looks like there was a sign. Let me zoom in out here and show you. Looks like there was a sign at one time. Well, we don't quite know what this was. Teddy thinks it's something you slide across. We don't know at one time, was it a bench or some kind of other interrupt sign or map? But I mean, like Mark, there's tons of outlets everywhere. Do you notice that? <laughs> We're trying to play like Clue or something, Super Sleuth, and figure out like what it was in its day. I forgot the name of it. You you looked at the name on. Uh huh. We're all finished getting back in the car, and I was actually giving Lucy a drink when I noticed the remainder of blossoms on this bush. It looks like it is going by, so I have missed its peak, obviously. But wow, I bet this was beautiful. And I don't know what kind of bush it is. I'm just starting to learn my Texas stuff, but. Wow, the bright, like, fuchsia pink on that. I bet this, when it was in bloom, I bet it was gorgeous. But anyway, that's going to do it for us here. The berries were not as good. I think some of the berries at some of the stores are starting to go past. They were a little bit, kind of, some of them were moldy. Some of them were bitter. But it was a nice stop nonetheless. All right, so the other hard part is, is I didn't think about doing the um, offline maps. So I have to go by what I read for hints to try to find the cache. It's called Abject Failure. If you're looking on your geocaching app here in Jeff Davis County, uh, you're very near the McDonald Observatory and Fort Davis. So I know you get sap on you. And again, like I did with my last geocaching vlog, I'm not going to show you the exact location, but I am going to kind of show you some general things, some hints, and then tell you if it was a success or a failure. So I did get enough of a hint of a signal to get the uh, compass little logger to come up, but I'm going to look for a few more minutes before it gets too hot to just leave the crew sit in the car. Mark just turned on the engine, so they're fine, but I don't want to hold up the rest of our day too much. I'll be back in the area, so I won't give up on it, but I'm going to take one more little look before I have to mark it as a DNF, so we'll see. Ah. Oh well, area's wicked cool. So what it used to be is this was a solar demonstration project that I guess the government used to subsidize, and then way back i don't know early 2000s i guess the government gave up on it and i was right at the picnic the other day when we did it they used to have like a whole thing that explained it and all of this and 
then when they sub stopped subsidizing it, they just gave up on it. But evidently, like, so they took all the information away, but they didn't close the gates. And I'm wondering, like, who takes the trash? Maybe state? If you know more about this rest area, please chime in below. I, it, it has piqued my interest, so to say, but I'm gonna do one more sweep. If I find it, I'll fit in a note. If not, this is fascinating. Mark never likes actually geocaching, but he's determined he's gonna go figure it out and he's gonna take a look. He could go deeper than that, babe. He's taller, so he thinks it's, because the hint was at eye level and the owner's 5'8", so I'm really impressed. I honestly thought he just got out because he was using it as an excuse to go take a pee, but he's not. He's actually even walked through the tree club here. He's walked around the front. That's a lot of effort for my sweet husband. I'm really proud of him. Maybe I can get him back into this hobby. When we first were trying it 12 years ago, he liked doing it. And then he kind of got into more Pokemon and stuff. But I don't know. Stay tuned. Maybe he'll have better luck than I did. He is taller than me. This is crazy sauce. But I decided to jump out. Just leave the kids sitting in the car with the air conditioner. And I did get another flash of signal to get the compass going again. And we have found it. We're successful. We can mark it as a find. Mark's calling it the hidden immunity idol. It's like he's playing Survivor. So yes, we can get a smiley on this. I did need someone taller, so that was Excuse helpful. Excuse me, when you find a hidden immunity idol, you don't yell it out. You're supposed to put it in your bra or in your, <laughs> your underwear. <laughs> okay, we're gonna log it. We're riding up through Wild Rose Pass on our way up to Balmoray to then loop over to Fort Stockton. Thought we would uh, kind of try to add another geocache onto the one we did there. And let's see, let's see if we can find it. And I have success and boy, this was a beautiful stop to get out and look around. I apologize if it's windy in the mic, you are right up on a pass. And look at that view guys. Wow, I wanna come see these flowers. Oh, and again, I'm not gonna tell you the exact location, just telling you the name of the cache. Oh, those are, that's why they said that the rose looks out of place. Good hint, good hint. Again, I'm not gonna show you the exact location, but that's fascinating. I didn't think those were real. I'm like, those don't look real and they're not, but. Look at the view from this pass. Now, if the wind will die down, I'll try to give you a bit of the history here. Wild Rose Pass. In early days, the Indian trail through these mountains followed the gorge below known as Olympia Canyon. To avoid the floods, travelers over the San Antonio El Paso Road, to avoid floods, travelers over the San Antonio El Paso Road. Immigrants, U.S. troops, and supply trains, and the mail chose this higher pass, famed for its wealth of wild roses. There you go. All right, now we can officially close out this vlog. Peace and love, everyone. Keep adventuring, and hey, you never know what we'll be up to next. Stay tuned.